Hey guys, Pokefan Sea Dog here, and um, as you can see in this Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, what I'm going to be doing is catching the three legendary birds. Um, and actually, what I did with this video is um, I I don't know why I didn't get quick balls. I guess I was just um, too uh, I was too I don't know. I guess I was just too ready to get this video over with. Basically what I'm doing what I did with this video is um is I'm going to be catching them but I'm only going to be showing you like how I did it um I'm not going to be showing you all the failed attempts cuz that would take forever I actually um as you can see I can't really move the screen down some but uh I wish I could but um Anyways, what you're going to want to do is get out your marking map and um, just keep going around until you find one of the heads. I just caught Articuno, which I'm really happy. Um, and now we just have to wait until one of... See how I'm switching routes here? If you have your marking map out, once one of those that little dog head thing comes up in here, then we'll be able to go in the wild grass and battle it. Now, also, I'm catching Cresselia. Okay, so here we go. I'm battling a Zapdos now. I'll probably mock punch it. And it's gonna flee. Oh. Well, that's an accident. And yeah, we're gonna catch the Shinx as well because they're really rare, and Professor Oak told us that they're roaming the region. Just kidding. Um, now we're going to go back up here. And I'm probably going to pause it and wait until I'm going to catch it. That's just how I was doing it. And I just heard it until it got really low health. And I will now next be showing you the successful attempts. So yeah, just stay tuned. And here is when I catch Moltres and actually what I'm doing is I'm actually talking after I record this part of the video because I mean there's no way I'm gonna be able to guess when I catch I mean the Pokemon and I think this is it 17 minutes yeah and I've been recording for 17 minutes and I finally caught Moltres um, I'm just having to edit this part out so I catch Moltres now I just have Zapdos and Cresselia to go um, Gosh, Zapdos actually is going to be really hard to catch, and so is Cresselia. Um, I'm just really happy I caught my Moltres. And now it's... Oh, wow. Soon it will be time for... I don't know. Alright, well, I will see you in the next part. That's right. Guess who's next? It is Zapdos. Now I'm going to be catching Zapdos. Finally, I caught him. Um, I was really actually so happy when I caught him because now there's only one legendary that remained and he's not even part of the legendary birds. And he has Cresselia, so yeah. Um, actually, when I caught Zapdos, I was surprised because that was my f fifth or sixth time. Um... Throwing a Pokeball at it. Moltres, it took about 10. Articuno, it took about 10. Cresselia, I've already thrown, I think, 4. But uh, we'll see when we catch them in the next video. So, oh, wow, crap. All right, well, I really don't want to do this battle, so I will see you guys next video when I will, or not next video, next part when I catch Cresselia. Uh, actually, I'm not going to be catching it in this video, or... I'm not going to be catching it at this part. I'm just showing you um I'm just going to show you what I what I'm doing to it gradually. I know. Um actually these video Oh, well. All right. Well, see you in the next part cuz I don't want to have to commentate this battle. And we find Cresselia another time. So let's use a mock punch on it again. Oh, crap. Dang it. No. No. Wow. Oh, well, looks like I'll have to turn off my game. Freaking stupid crap. Oh, well, 
Guys, I'm gonna have to turn off my game now, so... Um... Yeah, well, that's just freaking great. Okay, um... So you guys, when I have to recatch it again... After finally lowering its health all the way over again... I finally can catch Cresselia. I hope. Yeah, well, I will, I mean... I tried to make it suspenseful, but then I already told you guys that I recorded after. So I already knew I was going to catch it. But, I mean, it took forever to do that. Um, it really did. I'm just glad that I caught it. And, yeah. Um, so, anyways, we're finally back, and... Um, after we did all that, we finally caught everything, um, um, I'm actually gonna go inside of the Pokemon Center, and actually we finally caught, um, the four roaming creatures, there's five, there's also including my spirit, but whatever, we caught them all, I'm so happy, yay. Now it's time to go to the place of the fight area things, which is not going to be too, too fun. So, now what we're going to want to do is come out of, you're going to want to first fly to Snow Point City and then run all the way down here. And talk to this guy, and then you know, like, do you want to set sail to the battle zone? And then Cynthia will come and be like, "I'm glad I waited for you." And she thinks it's good that blah 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 something happened. Um, I don't know. Then also, no, no, never mind. I can't tell you that right now. Um, She basically says something to you, and you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool, whatever. So I get on. And look at that. That's kind of that's kind of a cool ship. It's got, like, drillers in the front of the thing. It's really cool. I don't know. I like it. You don't have to. Oh, and when you arrive, your rival always just runs and bumps into you. He's just come, and he's like, yo, hey, how you doing? Um... And you're just like, yeah, hey, how you doing? And then he comes up to Volkner, which is the eighth, eighth gym, gym leader. And then the Flint, which is the guy who is the fire elite four guy. Which is actually really cool. And it's a double battle, and he, they send out Luxury and Houndoom. And in my opinion, don't send out a bird or water Pokemon. A water, or well, actually water wouldn't be that bad. Electric, I mean, ground is going to be your best move. I don't know why I did not have out my Garchomp. But Garchomp is going to be the best move here. Um, and he's going to, they're going to start attacking that... Star after of your allies, so or ally, but it's okay. He could die. And actually, he's gonna use close combat on the hound dude and kill it. So it's okay. It's super effective, and he kills it easy. And it's whatever, I mean, Thunderfang, the Staraptor again. He, the Staraptor's gonna die, and he's gonna send out a... I forget what it is. If it's his Infernape, or if it's anything that's weak to... Uh, oh, well, no, Snorlax. So, he's gonna send out a Snorlax, and that's good, because now I can Earthquake without doing major, major damage to, his, to my ally. He won't die, because Snorlax is really... Fat and's got a lot of HP, so that's good. Earthquake is gonna kill the Magmortar, and it's gonna kill the Luxray. 
I doubt it'll kill the Snorlax. If it does, well, I mean, who cares? Oh my gosh. Ooh. And he gained a lot of HP. Or, er, XP. And he sends out a Jolteon and a Flareon. Like, in my opinion, Magmortar and Electrovire are kind of the same. Jolteon, Flareon. They're not the same, but, you know, I mean, like, as in, like, they are, like... They're, like, kind of equal, just two different types. Flareon and Jolteon, Magmortar, Electivire, Houndoom, and... Houndoom, and... What was the Pokemon at the beginning that I killed? And Luxray. Houndoom and Luxray. If Luxray was dark, then that would actually be... That'd be kind of cool. I mean, that'd be even, I guess you could say. Um... So Snorlax faints, and so does the other two Pokemon. I level up to level 59. He's gonna send out Electrifier and he's gonna send out Magmortar. Ooh, and sends out Empoleon. Oh no, we already took out his Magmortar. I forgot. And it's probably gonna kill the Empoleon and the other guy. And yeah, he dies. And you get a lot of money for winning, so that's awesome. So your so Volk or actually your rival's dad comes out and is like, "Hey, what's going on?" And he's like, um, "Hey, son. Oh yeah, by the way, Palmer is the leader of the battle tower. I think I'm not sure. And I don't know. And he says his dad's cool. And this guy's name is Buck, and he's gonna come and say hey to you, to you guys. Or he's gonna come and say hey to me once your rival leaves. And he says, "Ooh, that was a hot battle." And then he's like, um. He trains in the survival area in Stark Mountain if you if we want to come there and train anymore. So then we're gonna come in here and heal up. So they restore your Pokemon to full health, and then, and then, yeah. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will be going this way and up. So yeah, um... I will see you guys later once it finished saving a lot of data. And I'm just really happy that I went ahead and caught those four legendaries because now I don't have to deal with them anymore. So yeah. And I saved the game and later guys. See you in the next video.